Okay, uh, in revision phase, let me discuss uh, again a little bit about uh, concept of minimum and maximum. Uh, if we consider uh, the minimum or maximum concept, we can see uh, some example from our real life. For example, example of uh, some weight on a string. Mm. Uh, so, uh, whenever there is a string, we are considering some uh, weight on it. It will always settle down uh, in its center and the position of weight is the least or you can say the minimum position uh, on a um, x-axis or you can say that uh, on a curve. So, uh, this is telling us uh, about the uh, certain phases of uh, real life problem. Uh, so, for this purpose, uh, let me consider, uh, okay, find some string and this string, okay, uh, can be, yeah, I can use my scarf for this purpose and uh, somehow uh, it's kind of a string and on this string, uh, we can see that uh, weight is settled down somewhere at the lowest point. Um, maybe it can uh, uh, flexible to move, uh, this uh, lock is flexible to move from one position to another position. Uh, but we need to find the minimum point or you can say that least uh, uh, point uh, where it is settled down. And uh, with respect to this, uh, I need two volunteer. Uh, please uh, come and help me out. And uh, one volunteer should uh, hold this on a left side and one should hold on a right side. Uh, please, uh, you should place it here and uh, you should place it here. Yeah, your side should be a little bit higher than the other side. Okay, just uh, your side lower. Okay, uh, this can be heaviest weight. We, are, we can consider uh, um, bridges, uh, uh, suspension bridge over here. Uh, you can say that uh, the in th instead of uh, this lock, we can consider any heavy weight, maybe even a brick or something else. And uh, let me uh, okay. First, uh, I would like to mark the point. And uh, these points are okay. At this one is the position, and other one is the position here. Okay, uh, let me, uh, okay, this one is the, um, okay, another way. Let me slide, uh, but two ends of a string are, you can say these are constraints, these are the fixed. So, let me roll this um, along with the marker. I can, I can roll it along the string and we can see that it is kind of a curve. Okay, just you can leave it. Thank you so much. For Moment of a weight along the string uh, at the fixed end. Somehow we can, we need to um, say uh, there are two possible uh, tri triangles and first one is this one and the other one is uh, higher than this one so it should be goes like okay uh, we can say the according to the Pythagoras theorem we have the distance between 0 0 and x y can be represented with x square plus y square and here, these, uh, this leg uh, should be somehow we can say that uh, from A to this value of X, we can say A minus X and vertically we can say that uh, B minus Y. This is the uh, two uh, possible sides of a 
triangle now uh, as we can understand these are the fixed points these are the constraints of uh, this okay uh, hanging you can say that the uh, weight or some or you can say that, uh, okay for example we can consider a necklace here and uh, the weight of our necklace uh, okay always uh, settle down at the lowest point uh, let me show to you people in the uh, picture and uh, before this uh, I would like to write out the um, hypotenuse part of this big triangle it can be a minus x square plus b minus y square so um, what we need to determine we need to determine as 0 0 is a okay known point to us a b is somehow you can say that the constant values of a point uh, but x and y x and y to unknown value to us if we want to determine the lowest point or you can say that the, the position okay uh, why okay why because vertically we need to determine the minimum value or least value of the y this is the question thank you of a string uh, this is a string the end point of a string are kind of a constant point uh, so these two points are a constant points and the length of total uh, this, this string blue color, color uh, we can say it's L and uh, let me compose an equation for this total length L it can be written like L equal to okay first uh, diagonal part this is um, x square plus y square square root uh, so and the second one is the this uh, hypotenuse so I can write like x square plus y square and the second part x minus a square plus y minus b square this is equation uh, you can say that length of the string uh, so we need to determine the value of y why uh, the value of y is because this y is unknown to us this is unknown because due to uh, flexible uh, movement of a weight on a string this is the uh, unknown point to us similarly x is also unknown to us but uh, we want to determine the depth or the minimum position of course uh, we can determine the minimum position this one once we can understand what's the value of y here so uh, we uh, need to determine the tangent line tangent line where tangent line at this point at this point at this this point this point this point now now as i told you that derivative derivative at this position dy or dx equal to what zero because there is no change at this position there is no uh, you can say that uh, no progress in y-axis no uh, height in the, that is the lowest point on the uh, x-axis in terms of y that is there is no uh, improve uh, progress in the uh, y-axis so at this bottom position on the x-axis the, the, the critical value or you can say that um, uh, the derivative is uh, so here uh, the length uh, of uh, this uh, uh, critical uh, position uh, is uh, almost uh, zero so uh, this can be expressed as uh, 2 uh, x plus uh, 2 y and the derivative of y again it will become y prime 
in the denominator we can write uh, okay you know, our left hand side almost uh, we already considered as equivalent to zero so x square plus y square uh, due to uh, in the due to negative sign uh, along minus x and minus y centralized term will become uh, negative so we will have numerator in the second part a minus x plus b minus y and y prime in the denominator we can write as it is a minus x plus b minus y or scale this is the element part now we already uh, know at this point and this is what um, basically uh, y prime or we can say dy over dx uh, and it's equal to zero so y prime this is equal to zero so we will transform each and every term of y prime uh, as a zero so and uh, by splitting okay by transforming uh, transferring the negative term on left hand side are, so we will have oh, in here in the denominator this is also true so this will be cancelled out and uh, now by considering splitting the term we will have uh, this term will become zero so x our x square plus y square uh, this negative term go on the other side and we can write it as okay this whole term this whole term due to this will become zero and this will also become zero so we will have a minus x in the denominator a minus x whole square plus b minus y whole square now see this is the beauty of our system that uh, here the x um, or we can say that uh, this is the x axis and this one a minus x okay uh, we can uh, check out the ratio and uh, this ratio here is uh, almost both side is the same and uh, due to this reason we can say that tension in a string tension in a string is equivalent to so we can say that tension uh, the tension on the left side if it's uh, in a central i am holding okay so here it look like that both sides have a same uh, tension in a string uh, but if uh, we uh, due to flexible uh, movement of a weight uh, on the string uh, so again uh, though it look like uh, the one uh, our left hand side is a sharp uh, part of a string and the uh, our right hand side is a longer part of a string but tension on both the part is the same so due to a suspension bridge uh, we can check out or we can compute uh, the system and develop uh, it uh, in such a way that both sides will uh, carry the uh, same weight uh, this is the symmetry of a system and uh, if we see in the necklace different Okay, here we can see that this is the central part of it. See, it's almost a center. So this is just for your interest. You can see the at the weight is at the lowest part at the center. Yeah, of course, though it's not exactly, but it is the lowest part. 
do not exactly in the center, but it's the in a uh, in the center. So in some part, though whatsoever, it's lighted, but it is hanging at the lowest position. Our weight is at the center of a ribbon. So uh, oh yeah, of course, it is just for show. But okay, you need to understand. Uh, look like good necklace, but uh, the weight is. Uh, Tension on both sides, this side and as well as this side is uh, similar. Though it doesn't matter the uh, length of a string uh, on any of side, but uh, both the part have a, uh, may have the same uh, kind of a uh, tension. See, if a uh, person who like to play a uh, uh, oh, the golf player want to hit a ball from this T position. Ball is following the path. And will be to there. Uh, so uh, it's the symmetry, beautiful symmetry in mathematics. Uh, let me show you a few glimpses of the snooker and other playing stuff. Uh, let, let me uh, show a few examples related to this uh, uh, centralized weight or centralized uh, point uh, that follow the least or minimum turning or this minimum turning help out uh, in many games uh, as well as in machinery or the piston movement of a car in an engine. So uh, flexible uh, application of uh, uh, this uh, centralized weight and uh, I'll show you in more detail start the angle angle at this position angle at this position this position suppose this one is alpha similarly this both angle uh, alpha and beta are same as alpha equal to beta so due to centralized weight uh, align the strength this okay this this the same angle. So we are splitting it. Uh, let me determine the value of uh, this uh, equilibrium geometric position. This equilibrium geometric position help out to uh, uh, help out the player to win a game or uh, applying certain uh, shots in a snooker as well as in a football. So, or, so mathematics is playing its role. Okay. So it's too much. Uh, uh, Varieties of application over there. So let me, uh, due to this uh, ratio of the trigonometric, as we know, alpha equal to beta. So in uh, the sine alpha can be expressed uh, in formation of, uh, uh, we can say that, uh, uh, Okay, uh, perpendicular or hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is this one, x square plus y square. Uh, similarly, uh, the other case, other part of a triangle, we can uh, write sine beta can be expressed as a minus a minus x or a minus x. Um, Square plus b minus y square. So now we can write this. Okay. Let's as we know alpha uh, sine alpha equal to beta. So we can compare this. Okay. Uh, this both that sine alpha equivalent to sine beta therefore we can uh, substitute this value instead of here sine alpha then we can write technically by, uh, by adding these two equations
So, the cross multiplication x square plus y square sine alpha equal to x. Similarly, this okay as alpha equal to beta, therefore sine alpha equal to sine beta. So, I can write it in this way that again it's also sine alpha. Sin alpha. As sin alpha and sin beta both are the same, so I am writing it again sin. So by cross multiplication, So we have this part a minus x. Let's uh, add up both the term x into by adding this side into this and this side into this. We can consider sine alpha as a common term, sine alpha as a common, and uh, we can write it further like a square plus x square uh, furthermore we can write a minus x whole square plus b minus y whole square on the other part on right hand side we can only this uh, Will x will be cancelled out with negative x, only a is left over. So we can say that a uh, let me make it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit faster. Uh, so uh, we can write uh, this expression. And uh, we know uh, that this is the total length of a string, and it can be written as uh, uh, L. So this is the total length of string. We substitute it here, and now our sine alpha uh, uh, times L equal to a, and we can determine the value of sine alpha in form of equation uh, a. Now uh, that the capital A represents the number of equation. Okay, it's not the variable. Now, for the other part, uh, we are considering the negative uh, sign uh, of uh, y because uh, it's uh, here. This is the negative sign because this is the lower portion, uh, lower portion, uh, and this is the negative sign uh, of uh, this uh, vertical leg. So, negative b, uh, uh, this is the base of our hypotenuse, and uh, uh, and then that is the base negative uh, y over high part will x square plus y square equal to cos alpha. Similarly, uh, other part is the b minus y, uh, that's the base of our high part will is a cos beta. We are already familiar that alpha equal to beta, so cos alpha equal to cos beta. Uh, therefore, our first, uh, let me retrieve our uh, 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 first equation. And that is uh, uh, this one in the form of cos alpha, and other uh, cos beta is also replaced with cos alpha. So it is the equation two. Uh, let me uh, add uh, both equation one and two, uh, left hand side into left hand side, and right hand side into right hand side, and cos alpha is a common. Now we are observing the by considering the cos alpha is a common, we will have a centralized term that is the equivalent to the length of a string. So we will replace it with L and we will have b minus 2y l cos alpha. Now, uh, by simplification process, uh, negative sign will be cancelled out and it will change and we will, uh, for eliminating the value of uh, y, uh, we will uh, perform this operation uh, by cross multiplication of 2 and uh, by shifting the value of uh, b and b here, okay, uh, both other side, 
so we will have a b one over uh, two uh, times b minus l cos alpha. Now, what we need to do? We need to replace uh, or we need to eliminate this l cos alpha. For this purpose, we are using the equation a. Um, and the equation a is sin alpha equal to a over l. And uh, we know uh, the trigonometric ratios that sin alpha equal to can be written as square root 1 minus cos square root alpha as sin square alpha plus cos square alpha equivalent to 1. So we can also write cos alpha equivalent to square, uh, 1 minus sin square uh, whole, uh, alpha or whole uh, square root. So sin uh, square alpha, this is okay by taking the square of uh, sin uh, alpha. So here we'll, we will have a square our L square. So by substituting this value of sin square alpha in this equation, we will have cos alpha equivalent to square root 1 minus a, a square over L square. Okay, by further simplification, we will have cos alpha, okay, um, by taking the LCM. Uh, so we will have L square minus A square over L square. So uh, by getting rid uh, uh, of uh, this square root in the denominator, we will have L uh, the, and we, we can keep the denominator as it is. And uh, by cross multipl uh, multiplying, we will have L uh, cos alpha, this is equivalent to this one. So in this last equation, what we need? We need the L cos alpha. We will replace this L cos alpha with this uh, uh, value and we will have uh, y equal to 1 over 2 uh, into b, b minus square root L square minus A square. So this is uh, where L is the constant uh, length of a string. It is known value, A is the known value of a fixed point uh, on our right hand uh, side and B is also a fixed point. So we can get the value of Y that is the least, uh, you can say that the minimal, uh, minimum uh, length uh, for a uh, uh, weight on a string. Um, and uh, similarly we can find the X uh, value by considering uh, these Substitution. This is not only useful uh, in terms of uh, you can say that uh, uh, weight on a string uh, uh, for uh, adjusting uh, or for, uh, for constructing of a suspension bridges. It is also useful in other machinery tools, uh, aircraft uh, or uh, vehicle uh, engine uh, parts, uh, piston movement uh, as well as uh, uh, I can show you in the sports. Okay, just uh, you are young, energetic people. Let me share a few uh, glimpses of sports with you people. That uh, where the critical uh, point uh, becomes zero, and uh, the, by turning, uh, or you can say that uh, by adjusting their weight, uh, how uh, they can uh, make a shot uh, in a uh, football, or you can say that uh, on a pole, uh, how they can jump. Uh, and uh, how they can perform the snooker shot. Uh, so I'll elaborate in a short videos for you. Uh, uh, similarly, uh, okay, this is the version I already explained. Uh, okay, for uh, football, they are attacking. Okay, uh, and this is uh, not only for the weight. Okay, basically, uh, uh, it's the angle movement. As you can say, least, least. Okay, for determining the uh, uh, situation that uh, how they can uh, make a wonderful goal with uh, their least effort uh, or you can say that uh, uh, considering the position uh, let me share video with you people uh, 